So if we start at the DIP joints, we see that there are no joint spaces visible. Maybe this is a normal joint space. So this gap between the bones should be also visible here and there. And you see there are these outgrowths of the bone over here at the edge of the joint, also here. So these are called periosteal proliferations or uh, periosteal spikes. And this is a new bone formation that is caused by the psoriatic arthritis. Also here we see the psoriatic bony uh, outgrowth at the DIP joint. And also you see that uh, the tuft here is looking strange. So maybe there is also some periosteal proliferation at the uh, distal tip of the fingers. And these are usually connected also with psoriatic nail changes. Then when we go to the PIP joints, they look quite good, except this one here on the second way, where we see also some joint space narrowing. And here the thumb has very severe periosteal reaction, very large kind of osteophytes. So you can mistake these changes for osteophytes. But if it is uh, ill-defined, then you should think about terrestrial proliferations. Even here, there is some shallow ossification. And in addition, there's also an erosion, like in our second case. This is an erosion. So the psoriatic arthritis leads to new bone formation, but also leads to erosions 